The Sonic Probe and Saga is coming back with a part 5, which is called The Sonic Decline. What causes Sonic to be declined? Well, about the declining quality. When a video game gets declined, it happens in many ways. Some people are leaving, sometimes they ran out of ideas, and some people came here without any interest. And even sometimes they handle too much ideas or try to put something experimental, causing the decline of video game franchise. Or even a TV show. Or a movie or any sort of media. About Sonic's decline, well, not everyone's gonna feel the same about the decline. Some people say Sonic started to happen in adventure games, some say around the mid-90s, some say around the early 2010s, or even most commonly, around the mid to late 2000s. In my case, Sonic's decline started to happen if the sellings are going downhill. But if you are talking about the advertisement, or the demographics, or if you're talking about the game ratings, well, the lifespan of the majority of games being released with below 50% of the score from the average ratings makes sense since not many people really liked it. Sonic's core gameplay style has been switching a lot over and over again, which many believe that Sonic has been declining in any other cases. Nostalgia, well, the design which brings back and reuse all things over and over again, leading Sonic to decline also because nostalgia is not part of making the Sonic games good, but it feels like Sonic has been held back to the past and stuck in the past instead of evolving into new originality with positive ideas. Not all nostalgias and changing gameplay styles and gimmicks make the Sonic game bad. If the gameplay style finds Sonic to be fun for him and use it more like a Sonic game, people would like it. Like take an example of Sonic Adventure 2, my favorite Sonic game. This game uses more of the creativity of the gameplay style which helps Sonic games to be more popular to this day. One of the gameplay styles are very different to the other. It helps the fanbase to pick which style is good. To bring back Sonic's core style again, we also have to bring back the gameplay, which is not nostalgia. But because of the gameplay style would help shape Sonic again, to move forward with someone to evolve the gameplay, and even better instead of switching it or use the same thing over and over again. The minority of people wanted the gameplay style to be slower and more gimmicky and also another minority of people likes to keep the nostalgia because of they liked it. But not everyone's gonna change into the same opinion though. You can still respect their opinions if they like it. All I want from a Sonic game is with the light-hearted story with someone who knows Sonic a lot. To write the whole plot, full exploration, with some speed and platforming, adding some difficulties to complete it as a reward, and a gameplay style to be similar like the classic games with different abilities from anyone else. According to YouTube, I found one thing that bothers myself and the series the most. It's the lack of patience where a lot of fanbase really wanted the game to come out in every year, but not all Rush games are bad, but they just lack one or the cut content. But I found the games being rushed every year, not waiting till the game is actually finished, and there are games that are unfinished release that they aren't really completed yet due to the time constraints. The schedule should not be done quite too soon. Or just make it for about 3 years to usually make it released. Or to make it finished. Because of the company's fault. Making the games rushed. Why Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom was actually critical panned was because Sega doesn't want these games to release it later. Like either way, they were impatient to have the games released. Not in a single year. Or they just want the compatible new systems or working one sort of company to make it so and then release it prematurely. And yeah, 
don't really say from the time of opening a brand new show based on video games, that could have gone even worse. So, hope you guys enjoy it, but if you haven't watched my previous parts, wanna, I can highly recommend you watching it, because otherwise you'll forget what causes Sonic to have many sort of problems, trust me. You should have. But anyways, Sonic 12 Lexi, signing out.